All right, guys, you probably saw many videos where you heard from other coaches and other people turn wrist leg, and you probably don't know exactly what it means or you want to know how to learn it or whatnot. So today we're going to explain what the wrist leg is. And we're going to give you very simple drills that are going to help you immediately uh, to get the wrist leg. So stay tuned. We're going to help you out today. Very good. How about two more shots? Yes, with the curve on it. There you go. All right, guys, so what the wrist leg is, uh, and you probably find that sometimes you watch Roger Federer and other guys and Rafael Nadal, and you see that racket drops back, and the, just the motion itself, when your racket kind of drags behind your arm as you're falling through, that calls wrist leg. So basically, uh, this is what it is. Now, majority of times it should happen naturally, okay? So you should be able, if you're staying relaxed enough, if you have appropriate swing, you shouldn't even worry about it. You probably have a wrist leg already. But now if you're finding yourself, you record yourself and some people say, man, you stay too, too, too stiff and your racket falls in front, you're staying with the flat wrist, your racket falls forward, that means you don't have the wrist leg and you're having a problem on your forehand. So we're going to give you a few drills that are going to help you to stay relaxed and deal with that problem. You just have to repeat it a few times, work on it for a few weeks and it'll help you out immediately uh, to resolve that problem. We're going to jump in the first drill immediately. We're going to help you out with the first step to get your wrist leg. So slowly I'm just going to do a shadow swing to, exp to show the difference between when you have the wrist leg and when you don't. So if you don't have a wrist leg, your swing would look more or less like this. You see very stiff, very, very stiff robotic kind of swing. Now if you stay relaxed and you actually get the wrist leg and you're doing the proper swing, it'll look more like that. You can see how my racket kind of falls back. So as soon as I start the swing, you're going to drop down. Uh, behind me. So this is the wrist leg, that's what we're talking about. Now, we're going to give you a couple of drills. So the first drill, what you'll have to do, you'll have to hold the racket in the bottom only with two fingers. So you're going to leave these two fingers out, if you guys can see it right here. So this is how it's going to look like. And we're going to toss the, the ball to, to ourselves, so it's pretty nice and easy. Of course, if you hit full swings at, I don't know, 60, 80 miles an hour, you're probably going to lose your racket. Uh, so it's not going to be helpful. So the first trick, we're going to start with two fingers like that in the bottom, three actually, and then uh, two fingers out completely of the racket. So we're gonna start with the forehand. So in this case, you see, we'll, you'll have to stay relaxed. You're gonna feel how your racket drops behind you. Now you can still generate as, well, you cannot see me, probably. So I'm gonna come back in a second. And I'm back. <laughs> That's the magic of technology. You know, like you leave and you come back. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to do a few more tries with the wrist leg uh, with three fingers. We're just going to try, oh, of course, use your legs. Now, the important part, some people focus so much on certain elements. They're like, oh, wrist leg or windshield wiper or this and that and that, and just focus on that particular element. And they don't do the rest of the things, so their technique still gets worse. So of course, you want to use your legs. You want to have shoulder turn. You want to make sure the point of contact in front, it's not behind you. So all those things that you're working on, they're just the part that we're focusing on today. But the rest you have to do either way. So we're going to do a few more tries with that particular motion, trying to get used to it. Actually, it feels really good to me. You get a lot of topspin. Now, next set, we're going to do, we're going to start with two uh, fingers on the racket and then we're going to slide up and next one, we're going to have our full hand on the bottom of the racket like that, but we're going to focus on holding the racket only with the top two, three fingers, okay? All right, so we're going to start first shot. It's going to be three fingers like that. And then we're going to slide down and hit the next one with the full hand on the racket, but trying to stay as relaxed. So this is the first two. One, two. Now we're going to slide it down. We're going to have full hand, but focus on grabbing with the only two fingers. Now we're going to do it again. Slide down, two shots like that. And then full hand on the racket and having focusing on holding only with those two. So you see your swing becomes pretty relaxed. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed and, and only you tighten it up a little bit at the point of contact not to lose your racket. All right, and next, next drill, I'm going to have a race coming out here and he's going to fit the ball to me where I'm going to hit the ball having only two fingers on the racket and I'm going to alternate with having the full hand on the racket. Uh, so we're going to see how I'm dealing with the, some pace on the ball 
and then uh, after that we're going to do some live ball drill as well. All right guys, so now Aris is going to feed the ball to me and uh, I'm going to try first shot with only uh, two fingers, three actually on the, on the racket and then I'm going to go back to the full hand and making sure I hold the racket only with those two. All right, so let's try, let's see how it works. Here we go. All right, and then full hand on the racket. Nice. I'm feeling so much more relaxed already. And then full hand. Oh, we missed that one again with two fingers. There you go. Now full hand. There you go. And then again, two fingers. There you go. And again, full hand. Nice. I got to put like six balls in the roll in the court. There you go. Very nice. Mm. One more. Very good. How about two more shots? Yes, with the curve on it. There you go. So that's how it looks. You can see you don't get as much power when you do only two fingers on it, but you're staying relaxed so you don't miss as many shots. You'll see how relaxed you have to stay because you can't really hold it too tight anyways. All right, so now in the last drill, let's see if, what our final result looks like. So after you have done this for some weeks, you want to see how you actually executed in the point play or rally. So Aris is going to go back and we're just going to rally over with him a little bit. He's going to go to my four and let's see what we got, right? Yeah, he certainly needs to take the phone out of his pocket. <laughs> Here we go, let's see. Uh, looks already very good. Getting spin on it. So you can see with the wrist, like, you get spin very easily. But again, make sure you guys use your legs, turn early, your point of contact in front, because if you get jammed, you won't be able to execute it. There you go. There you go. Nice. Just like that. And a winner. Let's go. So that's how it's supposed to look. You can see even that last shot that I was hitting, it flies like a flat ball, but really it gets so much uh, tops me because you're so relaxed at the point of contact. So if you hit a sweet spot, you're actually, your racket is gonna collapse right on the ball generating even more spin, so it's going to travel like a flat ball, but will have a lot of rotation on it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching our video today. Hopefully, we can help you out with the wrist leg. Write in the comment below uh, when you work on these drills and see if it helped you. So write in the comment below how much it helped you and if we can do any other drills that you would like. Uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much.